Welcome back! As you can see, this is the progress which I made. I did some little, uh, you know, adjustments on this tower. As you can see, I made some, you know, shapes and used some trapdoors and so on. I used a bit of the crimson pillars here and I really am happy with how it looks. I used lava inside here and some glass paints and let me get up there for a bit. And for the behind I used uh, black concrete and behind the black concrete is uh, flowing lava. <laughs> I changed a bit of the chains but I didn't move this one a bit. Maybe I will a bit later, I'm still not too sure. And yes I noticed the edges. In the last video I didn't really smooth them out so that's what I did in the meantime. As for the interior, I used calcite uh, to block out the dripping of the lava or water, which is up there. And I'm still not too sure how I'm gonna design this whole thing inside of here, so yeah, this is gonna be quite a challenge for me. I want to make stairs which are gonna go downside, but I am not too sure how I will make them. In which way, if it's gonna be spiraling or if it's gonna just go straight down, I've got no idea. This entrance feels a bit bland. I was thinking something like this maybe. After that I can use probably some dark oak slabs like this and then something inside. But it feels a bit short. Is it too much? Not sure. I mean, it does go over here, but I can use trap doors up here. Yeah, this little design is fine, totally fine. And I can make it on all sides. Yeah, two more trap doors and great. Yeah, I'm fine with this. And this I'm gonna, you know, copy and paste all around because I want it to be, uh, you know, inviting. And this I can make even here and put up some slabs, maybe a trapdoor or two and that should do it. <laughs> it's a total mess right now, but I'm still cooking, I'm still cooking, who knows. After that I can just use it like this and this. After that I can just blop blop. Yep. Yep, I'm fine with that. I'm one of the guys who likes to do symmetrical things. And I know it's not the best way to uh, build things, but still. It's just something which I really like to do. Okay, we need torches like this. Uh, this is only provisional currently. I wanted to release two of it to be like this, you know, to white, but maybe I will make it free white. I'm still not too sure. Okay, I'm already making a mess. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see, let's see. You know what? I'll just dump it here because of stone I do already have more than enough. I want to make it symmetrical, but at the same time not. So, well, let's see. If it's this deep, it's not gonna be deep enough. Hmm. Will I make it? I can make one stair, second stair, and then be down here. No. I was thinking about elevators, but I want somehow to, you know, just drop down. How will I make it? How will I make it? <sighs> I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Okay, if it's not going my way, I can make it my way, right? So my idea here is to make this free white. And then I will just go with the flow of, you know, them, the blocks going slowly down and then around. It would be only too white, but yes, this needs to be moved. Okay. It should be perfectly like this. And here, two blocks white, so I will have it like this. And this will be just, you know, the middle. Yes, I can make it like this. And I can make it uh, just like I want it to. Okay, perfect. 
Perfect. Okay, let's go get some materials and maybe I can just make this floor and this I can make from wood. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Yes, and that's how I spontaneously uh, plan the whole thing out without any uh, for planning because I wasn't really making this kind of content the last week I was thinking about other stuff so yeah it's finally time to get back and to do something it's a bit refreshing to be back I finally found a spawner, I finally found a blaze spawner because I want to use a bit of the you know uh, androids the spawner is right here oh my don't die because normally I don't really go this way so I didn't find the spawner till literally right now I was forming a little 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 bit of it so yes I've got 33 which should be enough I mean in the B I just farmed the you know the free roaming blazes, which was already enough too, so yeah. But I will probably make a farm for the, you know, blaze rods. A simple manual one, where you can just uh, kill them with the looting sword. So this should be more or less it of a little, you know, tangent. Okay, as you can see, I get really a lot of them from literally nothing. And here... I didn't really make too many changes, but as you can see, this is how the interior is gonna be looking like. I'm still not sure about, you know, the lighting here. And this is gonna be the way, uh, you know, down. I still need to dig out the whole area. It's gonna be on the 61st level. So this one, oops. So this here is the uh, 61st, so I'm normally gonna be standing on this level. I'm still not sure about the design, so yeah. And here, you probably seen the beacon, I moved it from there to here. As for the blaze uh, androids, I want to use them here somewhere. You know, like, for example, this and this. Like that. But the only thing I'm not sure is about the frequency. The biggest problem is it's gonna be the roof. So yeah, I'm gonna probably do it like this. Yep. Is it looking good? I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, it's not gonna be, uh, you know, symmetrical. I don't want to make two of them. Or do I? I mean, I need to experiment to know if I want it to, to have it like this or not. Yeah, I mean, two of them are not really bad. Yeah, I can make it two and two. And two and two and two and two and two and two. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. As for these, do I want to make it like you know? Mm, I want to. Can I not? You know. Oh. Yep. Like this. Yes. And like this. Okay, 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 I'm cooking something. One more. Okay, like this, like this, and then after this, I need to make it like this. Yep. Okay, this is good. It's really good, I like this a lot. And this is gonna be only on the two sides here. And that's how I can rotate them, yeah! Yes, 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 yes. This is exactly what I wanted. Such a light curtain. But only on the two sides because I want to be able, you know, to just jump down there. And here it would be just in the way. Yes, this is perfect. This is literally perfect. Yes, 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 yes. Well, hello, as you can see, I was quite busy uh, digging. Literally, it took me two or two and a half hours to dig this whole area up. I mean, the longest part was just to get the edges. And after that, uh, I had to, you know, repair the pick. That's more or less uh, the biggest part, which took me the most of the time. I was just listening to a podcast most of the time, bliss digging. And I had to terraform a little tiny bit of the area up there 
because as you can see I'm borderline on the grass. Yep. Okay, and this should more or less do it. Okay, this is gonna be the area we're gonna play with. Firstly, I gotta get some markers. I want for the first thing to have here a wall. So it's gonna be a wall like throughout the whole thing, all around. And here in this space, it's gonna be a zombie roaming around. Probably one deeper. Okay, this is gonna be the place the zombies are gonna roam around. And here is gonna be the place with the little redstone where just the villagers are gonna be pushed down a teeny teeny weeny bit. Do I have a redstone box? Of course I have. Normally it's gonna be like this. The villagers. Here can be probably the lectern or whatever. Yeah, it's gonna be a lectern. It doesn't really matter. And here I just gonna go on like this and it's gonna be uh, pushed up. So I'm gonna need probably a bit of redstone. This is gonna... Yep, like this. And with a torch you can invert the signal so you won't get the little uh, redstone particles from the lever. But it doesn't really matter because it will be all, you know, covered by a carpet. So normally I could, for example, trade and whatever. Then I'm gonna uh, push the lever if I want to have better trades and then... And the zombie which is gonna be here is gonna then uh, pathfind directly to him and... <laughs> <laughs> do that little sound and yeah. Yeah, the villager is gonna be turned into a zombie villager after which I can just cure him, uh, feed him an apple and then I'm gonna finally and finally have better traits. Okay, this should be it and now I'm just gonna build uh, some more of those cells. This one is gonna be the last one, because here is gonna be probably a wall or something. They can make it uh, look prettier, so it's gonna be like this. And after that I can just leave it here, and here can be, you know, the villager. Yep, I can make it like that. Okay, this is perfect. And here I can make a pillar or whatever. Probably I can even uh, move it one way. Okay. This I like. I can make a, you know, a chest system or, you know, something decorative. Nice, this is looking really good. Okay, I'm quite happy with that, with the layout. I have enough space to have each villager inside. I mean, a librarian and plus some masons and other type of villagers, which I'm gonna be needing a bit later. And because the place, the space here is so big, I can make, for example, some pillars or I can build some systems which will help me with the bartering. For example, I can have here a chest or a double chest, which can be always full with, for example, melons or pumpkins, which is uh, gonna help me with the trading. The same I can do then a bit later. So for example, for example, I'm gonna have some uh, villagers which are gonna be able to trade with wool. I can make this system here, which I wasn't here in a long time. So I can uh, go FK and after this is gonna be filled up to the brim a long long while later the access is gonna be uh, coming, you know, I can make it so it's gonna go directly here at the very least the colors I want them which would be able uh, to be used uh, for trading so that could be cool too, I think Is this centered? Yes, this is perfectly centered and this oh my god I am in love okay I perfectly centered if with these 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 and these oh my oh my it's so great the things which I do not know is how I'm gonna you know make the block palette here this is something which I'm gonna need to be you know, thinking about for a little bit, so yes. Okay, this should do it for right now and we're gonna see us a bit later.
Hello, as you can see, I've did some little things inside. For example, I prepared the room for the zombie to roam. And I've did some things with the terracotta, but yeah. As you see, it's still a work in progress. Not doing too well, but not too bad too. Yeah, this lectern should go here. I don't know why I put the gold right under. I mean, I wanted it to look cool, but it's not even shown. As you can see, uh, these seven plus the rest of those blocks here are gonna be used for each and every uh, villager, which are gonna be essentially all the librarians and some of the, you know, farmers and so on. And this is gonna be for the courts. And for here, for the design, I'm still not too sure what to do on the bottom and on the top. I'm still uh, gonna need to think a little bit about it. Here, I want to use a lava on the stairs, you know, like this, for lighting and, you know, to be cool. But it doesn't work that way with lava. I don't know why, but, well, it's Minecraft. Here, I destroy the carpet, press the lever. You see? Uh, when there is gonna be the villager, he's gonna drop and the zombie can zombify him. This is gonna be the window where we can see the uh, zombie, but the thing which I don't really like about this here is that I can't really silence the zombie with uh, basic Minecraft uh, stuff. This is gonna be uh, my entrance from how I gonna, you know, get all the villagers and uh, zombies inside here. The beacon is gonna be moved a bit later down the line, but yeah, as you can see, it's still work in progress. Hello! About the interior, I'm still not too sure how to make it. I've got a little bit plant inside my head, but I'm not still too sure about how to do what I have planned. I'm gonna be experimenting with the designs a little bit, because I'm gonna show you what I have planned for a little teeny bit. This you all seen already, so this is nothing new. And I exchanged the, you know, gold blocks for the underside because it's gonna be covered up. So I want the gold blocks to be there, there, there and there. It's gonna be in uh, this design. You know, just some little gold piles and so on. As you can see, it's hollow, as always. I want to use a little bit of purple inside of here. I'm still not sure about if I want to make rings or stripes or, you know, squares. But I know I want to use sea lanterns, but for that I need to make a guardian farm, which I'm not gonna be making today. So a lot of uh, bits and pieces are gonna be coming together a bit later down the line. I still need to uh, put down inside some zombies, so it's a lot of work in progress. It's a multi-episode project. So right now I'm gonna make me some concrete and man, the days are flying by here. I still haven't made uh, those here all around. <laughs> I've got so much work to do here and it's taking so much time. It's already the second day of me recording this. So I'm probably gonna ship it as it is. As you see, I've got purple. I'm not sure if the concrete variant or the normal one is better one. Okay, this should be something like a template. I just go on from these edges, then put five blocks of free space and one block higher and then the same here one two three four five as for the lighting sources they're gonna be on the roof but currently as i said i don't have them so i'm gonna be using torches a lot of times after that i'm gonna make a big big all cleanup i'm still not sure about what to use as the you know footprint which colors I want to have it, you know, appealing onto the eye, but I'm not really good at those kinds of builds, as you've probably seen. <laughs> yeah. Because the outside is, you know, black, grayish, white and red, I want to use some, you know, some sort of other colors inside, but uh, I'm still not too sure. 
If I'm not gonna be happy with how it looks, I can always suggest you reuse other kinds of blocks. Yeah, I want it to be a bit cleaner, you know. The amethyst doesn't mesh really too much with the ideal I want to have it. I mean, I don't want this build to end up just being pastel-like, pastel just in one type of a color, but I'm not sure if you get it or not. And here is gonna be probably white concrete. Yeah, so I'm gonna go prepare the materials and just do it. <laughs> yeah, as you've seen, I've got no real creativity inside of me. <laughs> Diamonds? Nah. Okay, let's go right into it. This should do it more or less for this episode. As you've seen, I've did a little bit of progress here. I'm still not too sure what to make here. And, uh, but I've got an idea. So my idea here is to have a storage system, or at the very least a whole lot of storage systems, which are gonna be uh, filtering or uh, giving me some items uh, like, you know, the emeralds I need for the trades, or probably the melons and pumpkins here, and probably some more emerald ways to, you know, <laughs> or a bit later down the line, I can uh, have a chest uh, full of ink sacks because a lot of those are gonna be uh, literally making me wreck in emeralds. And as uh, to me knowing which will be where, I'm gonna be using uh, the hanging signs like this. And I can always come here and blah blah. As you can see, a lot of text can go inside, but I'm still not too sure uh, what kind of roof I want to make. This is gonna be a long term project, as you probably already see, because boy oh boy, I spent so much time onto this. Not only from the digging, designing, but even from the right from the get go, you know, because I wanted to first to have the hole here. Then, a bit later, I moved it behind there because of the you know iron farm and after that you know the story i created the pillars the main pillar which was there a long time without the top part i still need to make uh, the transition on the terrain so this project still has a lot of you know work to do and yeah a uh, chandelier i want to create a chandelier here hanging from the top make it you know a bit more cozy so this is gonna be more or less it for this episode thank you all for watching i wish you all stay healthy not like me <laughs> i'm currently sick press like subscribe and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye